Joining me now from Denver is Sam Zhao. He is the director of the U.S.-China Studies Department at the University of Denver. So, Sam, we see a lot of conflict in the world right now, especially in Syria and Turkey. How important are these world military games in the current times? This shows a peaceful competition among militaries uh, instead of fighting on the battlefield. Those uh, soldiers and officers, they are competing in a sports field and try to show the world there is another way of uh, competition, which is for the pe peaceful objectives. In fact, I think the China's uh, host of these uh, world military games is a very good opportunity for the Chinese military to show to the world of uh, another phase because uh, um, during the Chinese 70th anniversary of the uh, military par parade, they showed weapons, a lot of uh, very advanced uh, weapons uh, to deter their enemies. And uh, that kind of uh, show of a force has uh, caused some concerns in the world. So this type of uh, competition in the sports will give the world another phase of the Chinese military. In fact, what I think this is very important for the Chinese uh, side. They, on the one hand, they try to show a strong army, which is a part of the China's uh, dream. They call it the China dream is includes the so-called the strong army dream to show the world how powerful China is. On the other hand, China also tries to conduct what they call the military diplomacy try to communicate with other countries, with the other militaries, and uh, have a joint exercise, and also some uh, communications, uh, uh, security dialogues, such type of the uh, non-battlefield, non-force uh, focused uh, uh, activities. So this uh, military world game uh, hosted in China, I think it's a very, very good opportunity for China to conduct the so-called military diplomacy. And also from the Chinese government perspective, the state level of diplomacy is uh, very, very important for uh, President Xi Jinping to have what he called a host country diplomacy, to use uh, China as a host country to uh, uh, work with many other countries and to, to China's centrality in this type of activities. So and I see Sam, this a very... Mm -hmm. And Sam, it's, it's not even just about showcasing the military. I mean, a lot of it will deal with the game part of it, sports. So what else would you say the focus of these games other than military diplomacy? Is it also about building goodwill among countries and the friendships that you make while you're competing against one another? Of course, uh, uh, this uh, sport uh, is a military sport, uh, which is have uh, two aspects. One is a military aspect. So the other side is, as uh, you said, uh, purely uh, sportsmanship. In fact, China hosted uh, Olympics uh, 2008. That was a very important case for China, showcase of the China sportsmanship. China win a lot of items in that competition. And China, I see from what I read, and also you showed earlier, China is very well prepared to compete and to win in those kind of sportsman uh, uh, competitions. So it's also a way to show friendship. But China is no longer what well, I came from China many years ago. They emphasize friendship during the competition. Now they emphasize both uh, friendship and also competition to show how strong China is, China, how well China is prepared, and China could work with other uh, countries and in the um, competition field. All right, Sam Zhao in Denver, Colorado. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure here.